In this video, we're going to go over building a CPA report within our FlowHub platform. The CPA report is going to be used to gather data for price and cost analysis within a selected date range. To begin building this report, we're going to navigate to the Reports Classic section of the platform. If you see the screen flash and reload, this is expected behavior within the platform when navigating to the Reports tabs. Now that we're in the Reports Classic, we're going to select the plus at the top right of the screen to build our custom report. The landing page for the modal is going to be our sales report. At the top, we're going to select sales and see a list of the different reports that we're able to pull from FlowHub. Each one of these different reports has different fields and filters. It's quite robust and we encourage you to explore the different reports we're able to extract from the platform once you've completed building these recommended reports. For our CPA report, we're going to select the Sales Category Breakdown. We're going to start by naming our report and then adding a description. If we leave our description blank, the report will not save. Once we have our name and description in, we're going to start selecting fields within the report that we're going to find beneficial uh, for this report itself. I'm going to start by selecting the Category transactions, quantity sold, and net sales. Now we are able to click and drag these fields in the specific order that we want to see them. The fields will be displayed from left to right and top to bottom. So my first field category will be column A, transactions will be column B, and quantity sold will be column C. Now, we're going to continue finishing and selecting the rest of the fields we need for this report. We're going to select our tax in dollars, final sales, gross sales, cost, profit, profit percent, percent of profit, and discount. Finally, we're going to select our filters, which allow us to pull this over a date range and based on customer type. Now that we have all of our fields and filters selected, along with our report name and description, we're going to select Save. Now back on our Reports screen, we're going to highlight that report, and at the top of the page, you'll see that we have the ability now to include a date range. We're going to select a report for the last week. Once we've selected that, we can then select pull report. Now in this case, we might not have any data in our FlowHub system to be pulled out, but you will see at the bottom of your Google Chrome browser the downloaded report. Once we select this report, it will open within our desktop. Now we'll open this report and evaluate the data. To recap, we selected the Reports Classic tab on the left side of the platform, selected the plus at the top right of the page. From here, we selected the Sales Category Breakdown checked our fields and filters, then pulled the report. 